Keeping men of the Nigerian police away from extortion, another one, and brutality can be likened to trying to keep the cat from the meat, a daunting task, they say. In another display of rascality, some police officers allegedly abducted a music producer, Emmanuel Chubuze, in Lagos and forced him to wire 1.2 million naira to them. The spokesperson of the Lagos Police Command, Benjamin Hondain, confirmed that the police are on the case and the officers involved in the extortion have been identified. Bikio, this is very similar to what we discussed earlier on, but this is coming from the law enforcement agents themselves, and it happened you know, right there in our backyard. Yes. Uh, you better be careful where you are going home. <laughs> they, they don't want to know whether you are a journalist or not. <laughs> on the agro days, they can grab anybody. Hmm. I, hmm. My friends in the police have plenty of bad eggs and those bad eggs let down the qualitative policemen that we have yeah. it's such a shame if you i mean do, do these guys reason at all have they got brains because you should know that <laughs> when you are getting a pos operator to uh, take money out of someone's account yeah mm, that you are going to leave a trail. It's mm. traceable. This is not the first time. <laughs> in some, on some cases, they would take people to a, an ATM point right. and force the person to withdraw money and give them. If they get hold of you during one of their patrols, they can take you to an ATM point and tell you, yeah, withdraw this money or transfer to us. You that you are asking somebody to, to send money to you electronically, did it not occur to you that the evidence will be right there? Mm. I mean, it says a lot about even the the quality of brains of some of the people. No, this, this guy, I think they are, they are actually clever by half by um, the, using a POS. That's what I'm people. saying. Yeah, you once you take that money from his account. Mm. You are leaving a trail. It's traceable. Whether it's POS that you use or not, you are leaving a trail. So you can't even you don't even know how to cover your tracks. Mm. This is not the first time. I'm saying that in the past they are taking people, you know, at gunpoint mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. uh, to the point ATM and force them to withdraw. And every time they did, did did that and they were reported, it didn't take the police any a uh, long time to identify the culprits. But they just won't stop. These are the kind of things that push people to embark on answers. Mm. Well, uh, brutality and needless extortion like this cause people to embark on this answers protest. Yes, mm. painfully, it came with destructions and all that. Mm. But the idea was to protest the irresponsible behavior of some policemen. Mm. And you kill people without trial you turned yourself to judge and executioner hmm. these were the things that pushed people to to to, to, to protest in form of answers hmm. right um uh, shall I, yes. well, this this is also another you know scary th um, news that we hmm. we're getting from this law enforcement agency are you also scared i'm scared but i think it's sad that we are not only producing criminals within the fold of those who are supposed to be fighting criminals. We are also producing dunces because I would, it's only dunces that I would do that kind of thing. You take somebody to the POS and you think it, nobody can trace it. It's, I mean, something happened to me recently, not it's from in-house, you know. I had somebody I trusted with my ATM card to go and maybe sometimes to collect money for me. I, I gave her the pin. But somewhere along the line, maybe that gave her the impression that she could just, and then maybe she wanted to do something and she felt she could just do it scot free. As she went there, as soon as she started withdrawing, I got a lot. I, yeah. In fact, the, I was able to trace the three places mm. because they were so close by and the numbers. Once I got there, I confirmed that was this money taken from me or something? It was confirmed. These are supposed to be law enforcement agency, a, agents, agents who should know mm. the procedures of criminal investigations. Mm. 
they should know that these are things that are easily is easily traceable mm. but doing it then begins to make one wonder what kind of training do we have going on within the police force that this we don't even know the tenets the procedures of the the, the kind of profession they are into right. they do things appositely you know that's why even you people pray that you should never there is a prayer mm. Whether uh, guilty or not, we pray that we we'll never have issues with police because the whole thing is so disorganized that even when you are right, you get, I mean, you're looking for justice, but what you get, something else. Because the people who arrange, who do this thing, who you are putting your trust on, right. are just not reliable. Mm. So l let, let me say this we need to do a lot of reorientation of the police force. Sometimes they go. You have policemen waylaying traders. Mm. They were traveling from Ondo State to Kogi State. And in the middle of the night, because those people were carrying plenty of money, you know those, those traders, mm -hmm. we call yeah. them Ala Jakpa. Yeah. And you know what they did? They shot dead the, all the traders and took their money. But luckily, one of the traders, yes, one yes, mm. said one of the, them was able to, you know, was not killed. So. That was how they were able to catch this people, so and they this were all people. sentenced to death. What kind of police are we breeding in Nigeria that, you know, law is being turned upside down? So whoever is in charge has a lot of, I mean, things to perform to right. make sure that we reform the police. Right. The so police whether we ban, yes. whether we ban um, SARS. Uh, SARS or not, hmm. bad eggs still abound in the they're, police. They're yes, plenty. we know that in any profession they are bound to be bad eggs. But the police have a duty to identify the bad eggs within their ranks and, and flush push, them, push out. them out of the yeah. system. Because yeah. they are giving gallant police officers who are laying down their lives in fighting crime, they are giving them a bad name. As a matter of fact, you know, the fact that we could even see that with uh, among, uh, among them who uh, is the most decorated police officer, we know what he's mm. facing at the moment. Sure. So <laughs> it should be no surprise to any of us at the end of the day.